Independent power producers and the government are close to agreeing on a power pricing metrics that will see Kenya Power purchase electricity partly in Kenyan shillings. Geothermal Association of Kenya Chair Gathuru Mburu says power producers in the geothermal sector are proposing a mix of shillings and dollars in billing to address forex fluctuations which have been blamed for the high cost of electricity in Kenya. Kenya Power revealed that it was forced to pay off some independent power producers with Kenyan shillings early this year due to the dollar scarcity. Independent power producers now say they are in talks with the government to start billing Kenya Power in both shillings and dollars. Concerted effort being discussed at this Congress to see whether we can begin to split those power purchase agreements into a portion in local currency and a portion in foreign currency. The pricing matrix will see a hybrid of dollar shilling agreement on a 50-50 basis in a bid to lower the cost of electricity in Kenya. Why don't we have these contracts in local currency? The main reason is that power projects are long term and they are very capital intensive. Right now that capital is lent in foreign currency. The currency matrix is among a raft of proposed policy amendments that will also see geothermal subsector further liberalized to attract more private equity in geothermal development. Oil companies could provide the bottom hole temperature data of existing oil and gas wells uh, that geothermal developers could then use. They could utilize abandoned oil and gas wells for geothermal purposes. I think by using foreign investment and, hand, you know, and having foreign companies on board uh, can fast track the process. Uh, you know, to be able to to be able to uh, do the exploration, set up these geothermal um, uh, places, so we can obviously just get the steam going. Kenya needs 1.6 trillion shillings to de-risk and drill geothermal wells in the next 10 years to increase geothermal power production from the current 1,000 megawatts to 5,000 megawatts. Benson Ryoba, reporting for Prime Edition.